Hey everybody, Scoutcrafter here again. I have a nice little screwdriver, a German screwdriver, in keeping with the theme from this week. And um, it's a nice, I think it's unmarked, but we'll check it out when we get to it. So let's go downstairs and see what we got. Okay, today's project. Uh, I got this nice little screwdriver, and the handles are tight. I believe it's uh, made in Germany. I can't really tell. Uh, it's got a lot of, I don't know if it's grease, corrosion. I, I you know, I don't even want to touch the thing until I clean it up. But um, it's, the handles are tight. It's got this unusual, see this top here that's built into the top. It looks like a, a striking area or whatever you would use it for. Um, a lot of the Germans ones have these hexagonal uh, areas on the bottom that you could put a wrench on to torque it. I like these because I've never seen one loose yet. You know, they apparently they were made with a better uh, a wood or the, the rivets were better, whatever. But these are always tight. So I, I like these type screwdrivers. Let's see what we can do with this one. Now here I'm just using a little penetrating fluid and a wire brush to get the grease off. Okay, to, in order to protect the wood, again, from the uh, wire brush, we are going to take a uh, just a piece of soda can that we cut up, add some tape to the end, and you can see here the uh, seam line here. We're going to stretch the aluminum. Well, place the aluminum super close to the to the uh, metal and use the tape to pull it around this way so that we only have the metal that's going to make contact with the... If you try and just use tape, the wire brush really abrades the tape really quickly. So this aluminum can will do a good job in protecting the wood. Here's our post wire brush evaluation. You can see that the... Uh, the steel looks real good. However, this was attempted regrind. You see that? You see the facets here on the uh, tip of the screwdriver. So we'll have to address that. You can see it over here too. Um, again, you know, they regrind. People regrind it to fit a certain screw or whatever. But uh, we're going to have that going straight across. Do that up nice. And then we want to have here, uh, keep this all here. You can see there was some kind of coating years ago. But we're going to take that to the... Uh, to the belt sander and then we'll hit the wood also the back looks pretty good uh, but the wood this is going to be a little more difficult to do. And here we just make sure we get each one of those facets on the uh, the belt sander so that we're not rounding it over and then we try to address the tip on the flat belt sander now, if I should take some sandpaper and sand the surface like this, it's, it's going to disrupt the fibers. If you look at it under a microscope, this will be, it'll be smooth, but it'll always be a dull finish because you just tore up the fibers. Whereas if you take a scraper and you scrape the surface like this, you could see little shavings coming off. And this is a much more preferable way of uh, finishing wood, to scrape it rather than sand it. And, um, and you can see here, just after a couple seconds of, of scraping, um, we have a superior finish that has a, a more of a luster to it, a more of a shine than you would, and much more smooth than if you did with sandpaper. And that's what we're doing with the handle here. We're just lightly going over here and going off and just making sure that we scrape off all of the old finish and gently dragging the blade across the finish until we get a nice, smooth, uh, lustry finish. Okay, using some fine sandpaper, the razor blade, we got this down to it's real nice and smooth. Now we got all the imperfections. Now this is right off of the belt sander. You could see that uh, sheen on here. Now we didn't even buff it yet. We don't buff it till later for the simple reason that we don't want to get any buffing compound or anything on this wood before we seal it. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to uh, wipe it down with denatured alcohol and then we're going to put some amber shellac on. Okay, here we are after three coats with the amber shellac. Now, the darker you want it, the more coats of amber you put on, the darker this will become. When you get to a point where you say, well, I like that color, I don't want it any darker, then you could start putting clear coats on. But in between coats, you take I take a small piece of triple O, that's three zero steel wool, and you just wipe it down like this. And what you do is you're basically just, almost just scuffing up the outside very lightly, to get away any of the sheen and then you'll put on the second uh, or third or fourth coat whatever but you do this between every coat the triple o steel wool 
and like I said, you're just getting off the uh, the shine of it. Wipe it down with a uh, just a dry cloth like this. Make sure there's no no residual dust or anything on there, and then we'll put a, another coat. Now that we're satisfied with the finish on the handle, we take it over for a little buffing, and you know my favorite part. Remember what it looked like before we started. And we are calling this project done. As you can see, we put about four coats of shellac, and we, we kept it with the amber. We didn't do any clear. Uh, I liked it. This color is the actual color I was looking for. It's like a honey blonde color. It's the original color that these screwdrivers came with. Um, we polished out everything around here. We got the screwdriver tip back to uh, what it should look like. Left a little bit of a, a satin on the finish all the way up here, just for gripping purposes. And for the rest, we polished the rest. So it was a, an easy restoration. But these screwdrivers, I've always found these um, to be much more solid than the perfect handle. I, I've, I've yet to have one of these that loosened up. So if you see one of these, I believe they're made in Germany. And um, you can tell by, the, like I said, the uh, hexagon little part here at the bottom of the handle. If you see one of these, pick them up. I think you'll like them. It has a nice finish, nice fit to them and a really nice feel to them. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that restoration. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care and have a nice day.